Cutter in voiceover, explains the three parts of a magic trick while performing a disappearing bird trick for a little girl. A magician Robert Angier, attempts a transporting trick with a Tesla coil and then disappears through a trapdoor, except that he falls straight into a giant tank of water under the stage. A fellow magician Alfred Borden forces his way beneath the stage in time to see Angier drown. In the present day, Borden is on trial for murdering Angier, who we learn was his greatest rival. Cutter is revealed to be Angier's engineer, the man who builds the machinery for his tricks, and the little girl is Borden's daughter Jess. The trial does not go well for Borden, and he faces execution. Later, in jail, Borden is approached by the solicitor for a collector, Lord Caldlow, who is interested in buying his secrets. Borden refuses, and the solicitor threatens that Jess is in danger of being declared an indigent orphan. Borden is reading Angier's diary in prison. Angier is on a train headed to Colorado Springs to see the notorious scientist Nikola Tesla. Angier is taken by the coach to the inn, where he gets an unusually warm welcome from the hotel staff. The next day, Angier reaches Tesla's place but is immediately thrown back as the fence is electrified. Tesla's assistant Ali comes out of the gatehouse, Angier says he's come to ask Tesla to build him a machine like one that he believes Tesla built for Borden. Ali says he can't help Angier, and Angier heads back to the hotel, disappointed. Back to the very beginning, Borden, Angier, and Angier's wife Julia are partners, working for an elderly magician named Milton. Their best trick is an underwater escape act. Cutter sends Angier and Borden to watch a Chinese magician figure out his goldfish bowl trick. Borden immediately deduces that the old magician holds the bowl between his legs under his skirt. Borden admires the way the Chinese magician goes to such an extreme level. Angier is surprised since when he tries the trick at home, he has a hard time carrying a bowl. Borden gets a few minutes on stage assisting Milton. Milton performs a trick where a bird and cage disappear simultaneously, and then the bird reappears. A boy in the audience becomes upset to see this trick. Borden tries to help the boy's aunt, a woman named Sarah, to console him. After the show, we see they kill birds to create an illusion to make the trick look real. Borden and Sarah strike up an acquaintance and become romantically involved. Angier and Borden are planted in the audience and called up to the stage. Borden ties Julia's wrists and ankles and she is dropped into a water tank. A curtain descends on the tank and minutes later, they see Julia isn't able to open the knot. Cutter quickly breaks the glass but it's too late for them and Julia dies. At her funeral, Angier asks Borden how you tie the knot and Borden simply says I don't know and leaves. Angier cannot accept this and it is the beginning of their bitter rivalry. Borden marries Sarah and starts doing a separate act, the climax of which is a bullet catching trick. Magicians have died during the trick because of audience members sticking buttons or their bullets into the guns. Borden starts to perform and the audience laughs at his tricks. He takes out the gun and asks for the volunteer then hands the gun to a man who is a disguised Angier. Knowing the trick, Angier puts his own bullet into the gun. He asks Borden about the knot he tied and shoots him, blowing the ends of two fingers off his left hand. Sarah isn't happy with Borden's work thinking that he loves magic more than his family. Borden admits this is true that some days he loves her, some days he loves the magic. Angier is approached by Cutter, whom no one will hire because of his association with Milton. They start their own act, with Angier performing as the great Danton but is rejected by his assistant Olivia. Cutter comes up with a new version of the disappearing bird in the cage trick where members of the audience keep their hands on the cage as it disappears. The trick involves mechanical gadgetry that Angier wears under his suit to fold away and retract the cage. Angier debuts the trick at his show and asks for two volunteers to come up from the audience. An elderly woman and a man who is a disguised Borden. Angier recognizes him but does nothing as he jams the machinery causing the bird to be killed on stage and the other volunteer's hand to be caught. Nikola Tesla is preparing to demonstrate several huge, fantastic Tesla coils, generating immense electric charges that seem to fill the room. Angier spots Borden learning about Sarah and their new baby, Jess. Intercut with this storyline are Angier's attempts to meet with Tesla and commission his transporter machine. Tesla has supplied all of Colorado Springs with electrical service in exchange for being allowed full use of the generators at night to conduct experiments. Tesla finally agrees to build the machine for Angier. He warns that it will take a great deal of time and money. We learn that both magicians start performing again. Borden, as the professor, has a dramatic new trick called the transported man. Borden gets into a cabinet on stage right and gets out of another cabinet on stage left. Cutter insists that he must be using a double, but Olivia insists that she can see the bandaged stumps on his left hand both when Borden disappears and when he reappears. Angier wants to copy Borden's trick and asks Cutter for help. They find a man named Root who will play Angier's double role. Their act, dubbed the new transported man, is an amazing success. 
Seeing Root getting all the glory from the audience, Angier is fed up with jealousy and asks Olivia to steal Borden's secret. To gain his trust, she tells Borden how Angier's trick is done and offers to help him improve on his act. Root realizes that he can control Angier because he's necessary for Angier's biggest trick, and demands money. It turns out that Borden has been influencing him, and Cutter thinks Olivia may have betrayed them. Borden's version of the transported man has improved, and now includes one of Tesla's electricity generating machines. One night at the show, Angier is unaware that Root isn't at the show. Angier goes through the trapdoor but falls and breaks his leg. He watches Borden pop out of Root's trapdoor and proceed to humiliate him, suspending a tied up Root from the ceiling with an advertisement for Borden's act. After this, Angier and Cutter kidnap Fallon, Borden's engineer, and nail him in a box to hold for ransom. Borden comes to the meeting place in a cemetery to get Fallon back, Angier demands to know the secret of Borden's transported man in exchange. Borden writes down one word, Tesla. Angier leaves for America to track down Tesla, for the second section of the narrative, while Cutter stays behind. Tesla and Ali have been unsuccessfully testing the machine they built for Angier. Angier comes to the end of Borden's diary and realizes that Olivia did betray him. The last entry in the diary tells him that Tesla was the keyword to decrypt the writing, which is true, but it's not the secret to the trick at all. He goes back to Tesla to test the machine again, this time using Ali's precious black cat. The cat does not like the procedure and hisses but is completely unharmed. Tesla and Ali have to leave suddenly in the middle of the night when their lab is burned down by Edison's goons. However, Tesla leaves a large, trapezoidal wooden box for Angier, containing the components of the machine with instructions in a note. Borden's private life starts falling apart. He's having an affair with Olivia, and his wife is drinking because of their deteriorating marriage. Sarah eventually hangs herself in Borden's workroom, after trying to confront her husband about one of his secrets. Angier takes the box back to England and reunites with Cutter. He demonstrates to an influential promoter, he is zapped with electricity from the machine's Tesla coil, disappears from plain sight, and then reappears on the balcony. A few nights later, at another performance, Borden sneaks under the stage, and watches Angier fall through the trapdoor into the tank and drown. It's clear that Borden didn't have anything to do with it, and he actually tries to save his rival's life by attempting to break through the glass of the tank with a pipe. Cutter runs down under the stage and gets the wrong idea. Borden is arrested. In his prison cell back in the present day, Borden comes to the end of Angier's diary, which gloats that Borden is being blamed for his death. Borden believes the diary must be a fake, and meet the collector to sell the secrets. The collector, Lord Caldlow, is Angier. Borden is dismayed that he would go so far and involve his child in their rivalry. Borden swears he'll get out and have his revenge, promising Jess he'll come for her. Cutter discovers Angier alive when he calls on Lord Caldlow to offer him the machine, hoping to convince him to destroy it. Borden has one last visitor, Fallon. Borden tells him what he's learned, gives him the rubber ball he sometimes uses for tricks, and tells Fallon to go live for both of us. Cutter brings the machine to Angier, and as he leaves, we see Fallon arrive to confront Angier. This is intercut with scenes of Borden being hanged. Borden dies just as Fallon shoots Angier. Angier finally realizes that the secret of Borden's transported man is simple, Borden had a twin brother, and they were switching back and forth between the double roles of Borden and Fallon. One of them loved Sarah, and one of them loved Olivia. Sarah, in a scene we've seen before, is puzzled and worried as to why the wound looks new and bruised again. Angier, who only ever cared about the glory of wowing an audience, went to far more terrible extremes. In his new transported man, he knowingly created a double of himself every time he used Tesla's machine, and he rigged the trapdoor to drown the one on stage. Angier falls and kicks over the lantern as he dies from his wound, and the resulting fire ensures the machine and all the evidence are destroyed. We loop back to the trick with the small birds in the opening scene. As Cutter has told Jess Borden, before the audience can clap, on cue, her father appears to reclaim her, and Borden and Cutter exchange nods. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe for more amazing videos.